What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I just want to show you how to do split testing in ClickFunnels. Um, so through my conversations with some of you, I've noticed that uh, you either don't know this feature exists or you don't utilize it. Uh, but this split testing feature inside of ClickFunnels is extremely, extremely necessary for you to improve your conversion rate, right? Um, so, well, if you're using ClickFunnels, right, regardless of what program you're using, you should be using uh, split testing because that's how you increase your conversion from a low rate to a high rate, right? And whether you're a professional or whether you're a complete noob, uh, you, you should be doing split testing unless your conversion rate is 100%. So there's always that room for improvement and you should be doing this, right? So actually on ClickFunnels, it's not very hard. So let me just show you through and give you some pointers and um, just some things to keep in mind as, as the way I do split tests here, okay? So the way you do it is you go on your funnel uh, and you just click on create variation. It's that simple. You can create a duplicate or you can create an entirely different uh, kind of split test page. So I'm just going to create duplicate because I want to test, for example, a different color. Okay. So after that, I'll go here. Now, obviously this is just a sample page that has, you know, no meaning. Uh, but for instance, I will change, you know, I'm, I'm going to change that red into uh, this blue color. Okay. And I'm going to split test this, for example. All right. So now I, I saved it. I went back and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to 50% traffic because I, I, I want to split test them both evenly, right? If you don't want to split test them evenly, then, you know, you can control this, put it to whatever percentage you want to. I like to keep it at 50% because that way it's, it's even out and I'm able to gather data faster and equally across them all. Okay. So let me just put this at 50 uh, and then you'll click apply changes and that is it. Okay. So, um, I know you may be thinking, hey, you know, this is too much work to do split testing. I'm too lazy. I'm getting good conversion rate. I'm getting, you know, 20, 30, 40, or 50% conversion rate. I'm good. I'm happy. You know, no need to do split testing. Uh, this is actually a really simple process. I recommend you take two seconds to do it. You change that one little word or that one little color or that image, and you just let it go for a bit. All right. And then you can be lazy for a week or two or however long you want to do the split test for. So then after you do this, right, your split test is good to go. Now, uh, you can go to your stats page. So the only way how you will be able to gather data from it is um, if there's some sort of opt-in, if there's some sort of email requirement or purchase requirement, uh, then you will be able to see which one's more effective. So if you have uh, just a landing page redirecting directly to an affiliate offer with no email opt-in, then this split testing feature won't work for you. You will need kind of that email confirmation. That's how you determine which one uh, has a higher rate. That's how ClickFunnels helps you determine that, right? Because they look at who puts in their email or who buys or stuff like that. So after you do that, you should see here a little arrow over there, right? So on all the pages where you have the split tests, you should see a little arrow. So just click on that. And as you can see now here, you have two. You have a control and you have a variation, right? And what you'll see is you'll see the page views, the unique page views, right? So all page views is uh, even if it's the same person going on your page many times versus unique if it's one just that one person going on your page many times that's going to be one uh, and then opt-ins okay so this is the part that's going to kind of measure your con that is what conversion rate is right is opt-ins or uh, purchases so that's what you'll be able to see here so if you have a sales page i'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to say uh, instead of opt-ins like sales right uh, so you should be able to see this conversion rate so that's what i go i have it on all my landing pages um and you should be able to track down and see which one is performing better. So there's no specific set period of time when you should stop either. Um, you know, you just keep going. And as soon as you feel comfortable, as soon as you feel confident that um, your certain page variation is, is doing much better than the other, then you can stop the split test, declare as winner, and then go again. Okay, so let me just show you. So um, as you can see here, I can just declare as winner. And what's going to happen is one of these variations, whichever one I declare, so if I declare this is winner, this one's going to be deleted and this one will take its place. And then I can create another split test and I can make more changes and I can see which one's better, this winner or something else, right? And I can just keep going. So um, yeah, so 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 you can just keep going forever, right? Until you reach that 100% conversion rate. So when I first started, I actually had a conversion rate of 20%. Uh, and then I increased it to 30% uh, just by making one change, which was changing the color of my button. That's it right? Changing the color of my opt-in button 
I changed that and it gave me a 10% increase. So small things like that. Uh, now in this case, this was kind of extreme, but that's because uh, the rest of my content fit in nicely with that color. So that actually made sense, right? So I changed that and then I kept going. I changed other things. I changed words, I changed images, and that's how you do it. So when you're confident, you declare as winner. Now, uh, one thing also you can look at is this confidence score. So this is basically ClickFunnels telling you, we are 50% in this case confident that this variation it will outperform this one. Obviously 50% because it, it's either one or the other, right? As you gather more data, um, this percentage will either increase or decrease. So I like to keep it at above 95%, um, basic statistical um, rule, basically. Um, I like to keep it above 95% saying that, hey, we're 95% confident that this variation is better than this one. Uh, so that's that's kind of a tool. It's not your green light to go forward and declare as winner right away. So as soon as you see 95%, don't go ahead and just declare as winner, right? Uh, I would say think of a time convenient for you. So maybe run it a week or two, uh, and then um, maybe 100 conversions per each one, right? To see which one. Uh, that That's what I do. That's what I use. Um, but you can do whatever works for you and whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, but I'm just saying don't rely on this as your kind of green light to say, okay, it's 95%. That's it. Time to declare as winner, right? Um, your numbers may fluctuate a bit. My numbers, for example, for the 20 to 30% increase, uh, my 30% variation actually fluctuated between 25 and 35%, right? So it was going back and forth. So just, just keep that in mind that things do change. Um, you know, uh, data isn't accurate if you have a low amount of people, right? So you need to get as many as you can and try to make it in as many days, as many weeks as you can, uh, because things are different every day of the week, right? Weekends, I usually get completely different traffic than on week uh, weekdays, okay, uh, for some of my offers. And, and I don't know, I guess people are sitting at home, they don't have work, so they're looking for stuff, right? They're developing their online business, for example, for the products I'm selling, right? Uh, so same applies with you, depending on what it is you're doing. One more thing to keep in mind is, um, you know, some things you can change, like the color of a button, like an image. Um, those are generally fair, right? Fair changes, but sometimes you may want to test things like words. In particular, if you have on your main page, for example, you have something saying buy now, and then you wanna split test it with, hey, click here for a free download, you have to keep in mind that in cases like that, your conversion rate will be much higher for the free trial. If you're saying things like buy now, put in your email versus hey, uh, put in your email to get a free trial. Obviously, the, the, the people are attracted to free offers. Your conversion rate is going to go up. So when you see here under stats that your conversion rate is higher, don't immediately say, hey, this is the winner. This is awesome conversion rate because there's more to the backstory. Uh, even though your opt-ins may increase, people may give more emails. They may not buy at the end. So I just want to let you know to keep in mind, if you're making changes like that, where it's buy now versus free trial, you have to keep in mind, obviously, there's going to be a difference. But you, if you're making those changes, you need to look at the back end. So instead of just looking at the stats here on the first page, what you'll also need to do is go back to your actual product that you're selling and say, hey, you know, with this variation, did I actually sell more? Like, did my sales go up? So my opt-ins went up, right? My average opt-ins went up for this variation. Did my average sales go up, right? Uh, and that's what you would want to see because the main goal is not to get emails. The main goal is to sell, right? To get, to get lifelong clients to, and to sell. So if you get a ton of emails, but you get no one buying because they just want the free offer and go, um, that's not working. Maybe the buy now is better. If the buy now has a 1% conversion rate, but people are buying versus a, you know, 100% conversion rate for a free offer, but no one is buying. I will take the 1% people buying anytime, right? Um, you know, not taking into account the email sequences and your future uh, kind of your your future sales, but you get the idea, right? The main point is to sell. Uh, so so keep in mind if you're making changes like that, um, go back and review not only this first page. Uh, and the one other thing is uh, you can split test a ton of these steps. So if you have an opt-in page and then you have a sales page and then you have an upsell page, uh, you can actually go to the statistics and look at that as well and see maybe which one sold better, right? So here it's going to be opt-ins on the other page. Maybe it's going to be um, uh, it's it's it's, it's going to be sales, stuff like that. So you can do it. It's very simple. Um, this is if you're not using a third-party tracking tool, which in this case is fine because you have your own domain here. Um, but if you are using a third-party tracking tool, I use ClickMagic, you can 
kind of do the same thing. I, I, I have a bunch of videos. Check those out if you want to see how you, you can split test uh, this stuff in Click Magic. Uh, I'll, I'll put my playlist up above. But that's pretty much it. Just a, an extremely useful thing. And I kind of wanted to uh, go into more details with you as to some, some pointers and uh, where exactly you would gather this data. But it's extremely useful. Go ahead and set this up on every step of your funnel. Um, and just see which one performs better. It's as simple as that. Wait a week or two. Look, go back into your stats. Check the stats. See which one's doing better. Oh, you know, you you got 100 people here, 100 people here. This one's 20%. This one's 30%. You know, make the decision then. Maybe that 30% is actually doing much better. Time to declare it as winner. Run another split test. Keep going until you reach 100%. All right? So that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We cover a lot of different online marketing tools here. Tips, tricks, reviews, how-tos, etc., etc. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.